More than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease, and almost two-thirds of those patients wander. Many are at risk of falling, and that is why one New York City teenager got the bright idea to lower their injury risk with a device that senses changes in the body angle and sends alerts to caregivers before the patient gets out of bed. Only 17 years old, Kenneth Shinazuka has already done things most high schoolers will never do. He holds three patents, he's lectured at the TED Tech Conference, put an invention on display at the White House, and he's won a $50,000 prize at the Google Science Fair. Shinazuka is motivated in part by love for his late grandfather. When Kenneth was four, he sensed something was wrong. The two got lost walking in a park. That was the longest hour I've ever experienced in my life. So from then on, he had Alzheimer's and it got worse and worse and eventually led to his wandering. Sometimes his grandfather wandered out of the house, once onto a highway. But Kenneth Shinazuka has a way of solving problems and helping people. In 2012, aiming to help his aunt, who was staying up nights to keep an eye on his grandfather, Shinazuka began working on a sock sensor. It would signal his aunt's cell phone as soon as his grandfather's foot hit the ground. A year later, though, stumped by some 200 coding errors, he almost gave up on the project. I remember during that moment, my, I heard my grandfather singing in another room. I put my hands over his, much like he placed his hands over my tiny palms when I was much younger. And in a moment of sudden recognition, I guess, his grip suddenly tightened, and I knew that he still remembered me. Inspired by his grandpa, he finished the sock censored project. But even as he was winning the Google Award for the sock censor in 2014, Shinazuka had begun to think about ways to commercialize his invention. That summer, he formed a company, SensorX, and began testing the sock censor at memory loss facilities. He quickly learned many folks don't or won't wear socks to bed. His solution the Safe Wander button sensor. Attach it to any piece of clothing, and it acts like a motion detector. As the patient gets off the bed, then an alert gets sent to the caregiver's smartphone. Using Bluetooth, the sensor communicates with a nearby digital gateway, which pushes the signal to the internet and ultimately to a monitoring smartphone. Caregivers receive alerts anywhere, even outdoors. In November 2015, Shinazuka began selling the sensors for $249 each. By January, a memory care facility near San Diego, Vista Gardens, became the first institutional buyer. Already, Vista Gardens says SafeWander is reducing the risk of falls there. Now, Shinazuka the is partnering with the Canada? Hebrew Home in New York City. We'll be putting the SafeWander sensor on you today. On a year-long so study aiming for acceptance by the broader medical community. They can come and get there before the person hits the ground. And for the elders, it's life-saving, sometimes literally. It's cool, huh? I think it's, I think it's gonna be very big. A big opportunity for a young student to impact so many lives. You don't need to be as smart as a lot of, you know, these tech innovators seem to be in this day and age. What you really just need is to have a keen eye for the problems in the world around you.